Hello everyone, welcome back to the Don Pod. We're back again. Um, this time on a preview of Essendon Hawthorne Saturday night, Hallelujah, a Saturday game. Full team to talk about. Um, against the Hawks, who although started well, have faltered a bit. Uh, we're both one and five. You said a oh, one and four. Sorry, in our last five, Nathan. Correct. Thank you. How are you? Are you well? I'm well, thank you, Sam. That's Up good. for the challenge. It's succinct. I like it. Yep. <laughs> um, cool. Hawthorne, so um, old foe, one of the arch rivals, all that jazz before my time. Um, three and two. Everything's before your time, Sam. Yeah, there'll be everything good anyway. All the um, success is before. Uh, three wins, two losses from our last five. Uh, the last time we played, the Hawks was down in Tassie. Rip a little game down there around 14 last year. We beat them by 13 mm-hmm. points. Stringer was unreal. Four goals and 29 disposals. Uh, Jones and Waller kicked two. Ned Cahill. Nick Hind, Guelphie, Parrish and Lankford. Bowl all kicked one. Uh, Merritt 27, Hind, Ridley 25 touches for us, for the Hawks. Bruce and Jacob Kaczynski, I think it is, kick three each. And Tom Mitchell, Moore, Shields, Wingard, one. And the disposals, no surprises. Tom Mitchell, 36, and Jaeger Amira, 31. But a big win in the context of our season. It was a ripper day at game down there in Tassie, I seem to recall. Full Essendon crowd. It was. It was a very Essendon-focused um, crowd from um, memory, and... and been you know meant to be a home game for Hawthorne. It was mm. great for us. And one of the reasons we were so up and about about playing the final down there. So Yeah. Yep. That, that worked Oops. out well. Yeah. How well did that age? <laughs> um selection. Now I was very buoyant and excited um with the naming of Nick Bryan. Two Nicks in. Is yeah. that right? Double Nick. Nick Bryan, Nick Hind. Um, and out goes Stringer, Baldwin and Cox. And Sheil is essentially in, being the media sub last week. Um, but you tell me that there's a bit of a cloud over Draper. Is that right? Uh, well, I, just something that I saw on the socials today was that Draper was away from the group. And I was wondering if it was like a flu or a um, gastro type thing. It didn't sound like it was like a COVID because he wouldn't be, he wouldn't, he wouldn't be there, there at, all. at yep. all. So, and Collingwood have been dealing with a bit of that. I know over at their club and I don't know players will hang around together. I don't know what they do on during the week, <laughs> but anyway. Right. Okay. So he's maybe, so we kind of half celebrate two rucks, but kind of accepting that. Well, it might yeah, not well I'm not saying anything. I, I'm just <clears throat> throwing it out there. And if you listen to the Essendon um, sort of, not press relief, but the coach, you know, how they interview the coach of the belt teams. Yep. And he's all about Nick Bryan playing. So, um, and talk, talking about him and Draper being, you know, working together and all that sort of stuff. So if it, is, if it does happen, then it's a late, it's not a planned thing or anything like that. Yeah. Well, that's very good. Um, as I said, Stringer out with the hamstring three to four weeks. Baldwin omitted rough, given the role we're playing him in. But anyway, and Cox hasn't come up from an ankle, a minor ankle injury. Uh, last week, yep. for Hawthorne, not the Bulldogs, as I have written on my little sheet here, um, <laughs> professional, Granger, Barras, <laughs> Morrison and Ward in, out go McDonald, Nash, Howe and Shields. Must have been a medi sub in there because it's three ins for four outs, so who knows. Um, I've got to be honest, a lot of the Hawthorne names mean very little to me now. Um but don't you have um, Granger Brass in your fantasy team? So you'd be happy about yeah, that? Yeah, on the bench. He's a bit meh. And I got McDonald as well. And he's out. So 50 50, really. One in, one out. <laughs> uh, they're, they're, they're struggling, Hawthorne, uh, on the Ruckman front. I got yes. Max Lynch, who's played a whopping six games of football, three of them for Hawthorne. Um, and that's it. They don't seem to really have another. Well, the other yeah, the other one that the um, the rucked last week was their full forward Jackson Callow. He um, sort of helped out um, around that sort of as a backup. Okay, but but certainly I, I will I would estimate Jackson's played somewhere around the you know one or two three games. He's played so few games he doesn't even come up on on the website I use normally. He's played one game, 
So Well, there you go. That's a pretty good guess. One, uh, two, three. Two Ruckman for a combined seven games of football. Um, Coming into this. So our one from Brian, they're one and three. Oh, no, he's played six. How many has Draper played? Only about 25, isn't he? Questions without notice. Nah, he'd have played more than that. Oh. Yeah, you're right. Sorry, he would have played probably 50 or 40. He played two. Oh, 28. Oh, great. Feels like a lot more than that. Sorry, Nathan. No, I'm not. <laughs> I wouldn't lie to you. <laughs> 25 wasn't such a bad guess at the start now, was it? Feels like he's been there for a lot longer. Um, that's He bizarre. has, but he missed a lot of footy last year. Yeah, Although I would have, could have swore he would have played a bit more. That, but I guess we're only round 18 now, and he missed a lot of footy last year. And the year before that, he was sort of... <laughs> yeah, okay. Anyway, 28. You good? You believe me now? Um, yeah, I believe you. So four ruckmen with the experience about thirty five AFL games to yeah. play. Wow! I mean, we're exciting. we're lucky because Draper plays like a hundred gamer. Mm. Um, also, Nick Hines' fiftieth game as well. Chad Wingard's two hundredth for Hawthorne. If that's of any interest to anyone, um, rem- remiss of me not to mention off the top that Nick Martin signed a two year deal. Uh, yesterday, so so exciting. How good! Like not even on a list four months ago, and he has a two-year extension now. On what I'm sure is a lot more coin than what he originally signed for. What What did he do? What was his profession before? He was like, you know, I'm sure he had to support himself. I don't. I don't know. He just oh, asked me. <laughs> um. But props to the club for that. We've been yeah. pretty negative on the club a lot lately, but that's good to get. A guy signed up that he's clearly got a future in football. Um, well, unless we can make him worse in the next two years. That's... Well, well, time will tell. <laughs> but we'll see. It's a skill we have at the Essendon Footy Club. Mm-hmm. It's interesting, the last couple of days, um, we've had a lot of media around us mm. and, you know, reviews needed, we're lazy, we're... Uh, what did Nick Rewalt said something about which is that our mids are just interested in numbers. They're not really there. They just want yeah. stat padding. Um, and then over the last sort of 24 hours, trucks come out and said, we're going to play an aggressive brand of football, right? Mm. Which is great, but actually do it. If, if we don't see that, it it's going to be like, well, what, where, what happened? Yeah, and, and at the moment we're seeing a lot of, we're, well, we're hearing a lot of talking and not a, seeing a lot of action. So mm. yeah. we're just sceptical. <clears throat> we're, we're supportive. We believe in you, but just a little sceptical. Well, sceptical because we haven't seen much good this year, but sceptical because it's like 15, 20 years of this. <laughs> yeah, but I, I still think we need to give ourselves some sort of, I don't know, um, asterisk because of the drugs... Scandal, saga, whatever we're calling it. It feels worse uh, now. I never felt this bad during all that. Yeah. Bad football. I, I still think that, that there's an asterisk on our ability to be a better team over the last 20 years and what effect that'll have on us. Yeah, opinion. that's a that's a deeper discussion. But that, doesn't, that shouldn't change from the fact that the, the efforts we saw in those first four or five weeks of football were deplorable. Mm, like, absolutely. But that's got nothing to do with that. I think that that's got more about our ability to be a good team for longer over years of period, a period of years, which I think has been affected. Geez, you sound like a coach then, being a good team for longer or something like that. I've yeah. heard that a few times. Yeah. Yeah. Um, back on to the game of football. Right, um, I'm weirdly pos- like buoyant about it, I think. Yeah. Two Ruckman really floats our boat. We have been harping on that for a few weeks. Um, still some concerns around where we might win or lose the game. Uh, obviously, last year, they, Hawthorne didn't have Sicily. He was quite Sick a dog. handy little defender, medium defender. Great defender. Um, very, yeah, well, it's Hawthorne. I don't want to give me too nice. He's one of the ones I'd like to have at our club because of his attitude. I love his little, he's got a little narky, aggressive. Little arrogant. About yeah, a bit of arrogance, but but walks the walk. Often yep. walks the walk. Yeah. Um, which is interesting against uh, Peter Wright. Well, I don't even know because he's not that tall. Be Sam Frost on. I would Peter assume Wright, so, assume. but yeah. Um, but then so now, if all goes well, obviously Bright or Draper could be down there. So well, Sick Dog well, and Frost will be trying to cover those two. 
Bran <laughs> is named in the Ford Pocket, interestingly enough. Yep. Um, I'm just doing a little quick And listening check. to the coach talk about it. So Will um, Day is 191 centimetres. Yeah, well, listening to the coach talk about it, that he said that it'll be in, in the game, they'll sort of like, at the moment he's coming in as a ruckman, so he might spend a bit of time just bench and ruck. But in the game, they'll get a feel for that. So if they find that they get a good matchup down there, I reckon they'll they'll keep him down in that forward line. Yeah. Realise something? Ah, it's better. Oh, I can actually see your face now. Not too bright. Yeah, sorry. Got my little light on. Uh, Will Day's 191. Jack Scrimshaw's 193. Sick Dog's 189. It's amazing. Sick Dog is 189, and I've seen him play on so many guys that are so much taller than him and do well. Yeah. And Lachlan Bramble's he's, 181. He's very, so. very good. They've got height, but a bit like us in that they've got a lot of low 190s. Oh. And not really, I'm assuming Sam Frost is, is closer to the two metre mark. Yeah, Sam Frost looks very tall, like yeah. 198. The ears really make him um, mm. stand out. Some wing nuts. Mm. It's not very aerodynamic. 194. So even oh, still, really? not, yeah, not massive. It's interesting because he looks tall. Um. Which is interesting because so that really stretches that back line. Um, I'm not really going to go heavy on Hawthorne's interchange, but um, Peter Wright, two metres. Nick Bryan, I would assume he's over two well, metres. Ranger Barras would be the other tall on the bench. Is he tall, is he? Okay, let me just uh, a quick little. He'd be in that same range, in that 190 mids. He's a tall. Granger Barras doesn't have a height. Thanks, Wikipedia. I'll find it for you. You talk. No, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. You, you, Phil. Um. Uh, Grange Brass is... Uh, <laughs> 195. 195. Got it. So, yeah. Okay. So, there's a bit of height, but still not two metres. Times two. Oh, <laughs> we here's were a funny thing. Can we tell them about our funny thing? <laughs> yeah, we were... I don't know if anyone here's ever heard of GeoGuessr. Um, you go into Google Street View and you've got to try and work out where you are in the world. It's a pretty nerdy game, but we like it. Um, we were measuring how far we were away from the point in, in Peter Wright's. So I think the closest All we right, got was... Four rights away. Ooh. We got half a right one point, and then we got about 30 Peter Wright's, which was a bit unfortunate. But mm, that's where there we're you go. At, new, new unit of measurement for, for you all. Um, so that, to me, that is kind of a good little scenario we've got. In that we've got two Ruckman, which keeps Wright at home. Yep. You've got... Right. A second ruckman to play down there to add a bit of height, if Just necessary. So that says to me, Peter Wright, mate, this is your chance to kick another bag of seven. Yep. Um, for one. And and on that, their forward line is not overly tall either. Like <clears throat> Kaczynski and um, well, Callow, the guy I mentioned, who's played one game. You know, Kaczynski's got some height in him, but you know, with uh, Ridley and um, our boy Reed. You know, they should be able to cover those couple of guys. Because yeah, Iski's one And Laverde, sorry. What about Laverde? But yeah, other than that, and him and Callow. Laverde named. Oh, yeah, back pocket. Yep. yep. So we should be able to cover their forwards. Oh, I, I, I mean, I look at the teams and you do a bit of deep diving into, you know, one-on-ones and all that sort of stuff. And you think, this is when, again, I'll go back to this. And this is when I think we've got a good list. Like... I think, oh, yeah, he's a pretty good player. He's a good player. Like, you know, I know you roll your eyes, but I think, oh, yeah, we match up well. But where it goes a bit pear shaped is game day. And look, Hawthorne, for that list that you look at and go, oh, he's not very good. They pushed the what we think are nearly the premiers of this year, as were premiers of last year, to three and a half quarters of good footy, would you say? Like, they only lost yep. by. They were beating points. Sydney for three quarters, beating they've beat Geelong. Quarters. They've beaten Geelong. I'm not. I'm not underestimating Hawthorne. I think they've dropped off, and they seem to struggle to play four quarters. Um, yeah, but which, I mean, saying, pot calling but kettle black there, but yeah. but they, but they they what they do bring is hard, physical, tough footy. Yeah, they're actually they're... really well coached, which is yeah. really unfortunate because I've never wanted anyone to fail more than I want Sam Mitchell to fail. Do have a special dislike for him, a don't we, Sam? special, special hatred. Uh, there aren't many tackles I remember in watching football. There's a tackle of Brad Hill by... Uh, uh, Ambrose. Patrick Ambrose against yep. Hawthorne. Against Hawthorne. That's um, coincidental. Yep. And then the rundown by Josh Green on Sam Mitchell a couple of years ago at, at Marvel, holding the ball. Crowd Probably just went off. Now, but yeah. Like off. Yep. Um, 
Because that's about all. The, the moment when he did the jabby thing to us. Yes, you know, and he's that. just a he's just. And he stole yeah. a brown low off one of our better players, but we won't go into that. That wasn't his fault. Not his fault, but not his brown low either. Um, I also seem to remember Boomer Harvey getting spear tackled at one point after running the entire length of the field as Boomer mm. Harvey did. Yep. Anyway, um, concerns where I think we might lose the game. What? Um, what well, do you mean? where I think we could we could. Who are you? We're here to provide an unbiased, <laughs> even opinion to okay. the people. Um, midfield. Obviously, Tom Mitchell is an accumulator. Um, high possession and is a bit like what we explained Parrish to be last week. That guy who's getting the ball out of the middle and feeding it to the runners on the outside. Yep. Um, Jarman Impey on his day. Chad Wingard is one of those mercurial Talented. players that can just can kill you or it can have no effect, but yep. it's Essendon, no so effect he'll probably have a day out. Game. Yep. Um, Jaeger Amira is a talented kind of bloke, um, mm. and I don't really know a lot about their kids, but they've got plenty well, of talent. Josh Ward is the, the high draft pick, yes. and John Newcomb is, is, is a youngish player too. Yep. So um, Josh got Ward was pick four or five or something like that. Plenty of talent in the midfield, plenty of talent in the forward line, just in mm. Luke Bruce, you know, just old... Wise Gunston. players who have won four premierships or three premierships, and yes, they're a bit older, but they still scare me just a little bit. Yep. Um, James Warple on the bench is no hack either. Um, sick dog, as we talked about, um, has a bit to say as well. Hey, while we're talking about Hawthorne, please, what do you think of an? Clearly, rumour times are starting oh, yes. early this year. Yes, it's, it's May. What do you think of the rumour of Langford going to Hawthorne? And what are your thoughts on that sort of a... I mean, first of all, we'll assume it's we'll assume it's real, even though it's possibly not, and we'll just talk well, about what that... Well, two things, right? One is that we're rumoured with... Um, Marshall? I forget his first name. Yeah, Rowan Marshall mm. from St Kilda. And my first reaction to that was his agents just trying to get him some more money yeah, yep. on his deal, which this could fall into that same category. Yep. Um, Langers is one of the frustrating ones, I think, for supporters because he shows a bit and then shows not much and then gets injured. And yep. For him... Never played more than 17 games in a season. Which isn't horrible. But um, for him personally... I don't I don't have an issue with it. We're not gonna get a great pick because it's a um free agent and I doubt whether Langford would be a first round compensation pick, but no. I don't have a problem but I don't think it's true. So Yep. What do you think of the Marshall one then while you're at it? How do you think he would fit into our team? Uh, amazingly, but I don't think it makes a lot of sense for a twenty six year old to be, coming to, Essendon, yes, to be coming okay. to Essendon at this point in time. Yep, fair enough. Um, I agree with you about the fact that I think they're shopping him around to pump up his mm. pick because, I mean, I can't understand why he would leave St Kilda, one premiership by one point. Yeah, not really the sort of top I want there. But they're, they're also... a better club than us in the minute. Yeah, I was going to say, but they're in a better place than us right now. But, you know... I, I do agree, like, how wonderful or how awesome I think he would fit to our team because, but in saying that, I'm really excited about watching Brian play. Brian. Brian play on Saturday because I think that could be the future of our club, him and Draper, personally. Mm. I think he'd be, he'd be an improvement, but I don't yeah, see the course. sense in us picking up a 26 year old that yeah, we'd well, have to spend but... stupid picks on. It's it's right, and like we, we would have to give up first rounds. Yeah, plural. plural. Like, yes, because he's a key position that player, I would be and totally against. Yeah, same. It makes no sense, yeah. and I, if, yeah, I don't get it. Which is why I don't even believe it being real, because yeah, it just makes no sense whatsoever. Um, I'd be throwing picks at a key forward, not talk, a ruckman. But we did talk about the other day that, like, we did. You and I were just discussing, like. What what tall forwards and tall defenders are out there that we could get? In terms of out of contract, yeah, yeah we couldn't, couldn't Dan find McStay any or think of Brisbane, any. who 
was pretty good against Sydney. Yep. Um, mm. we're, mm. we're, we're digressing here a little bit. Yeah, sorry. That's okay. Any, any final thoughts on the game itself? Any, anything you think? Give us a give us a, a interesting thing you think might happen. Just you know, Archie Perkins to kick seven, something like that. Just Archie Perkins to kick seven. Um, that I'm... happens. Look out. <laughs> be cool. I'll be playing um, that I reckon Peter Wright will be quite a challenge for them personally. Yep. Um, Sam Frost and Sick, although I you know I just talked about how great Sick Dog is. That's a look... massive height difference. That's a massive height difference. That's. Peter Wright just has to put up his arms. That basically. being said, if our mids bomb it on Peter Wright's head. Exactly. But we're hoping that this is what the whole idea of bringing in the second Ruckman is that it gives us maybe a, a second option to look at, a different contest to kick to. Or Anyway, I, I think that's the thing for me. And the other one I will throw out too that um, I reckon someone like Alec Waterman might kick four. It'll be... Okay. Well, I don't normally throw to the comments too early because people who aren't listening live, I think yep. it. I don't really like good. it, but anyway, I'm going to throw to a comment. Murray said Matt Guelphy to kick four. So yeah, yeah, I don't mind that. That's what I was looking for. And who'd you say Waterman to kick four? Waterman. Okay. I'm going to say Peter Wright ten because I asked for outlandish, <laughs> and I'm going to give you outlandish. <laughs> if he does, it. I'll streak. I'm not even going, but I'll, I'll streak down the street. Just streak around the studio. Uh, yeah. your room. Down the studio. Oh, <laughs> we've improved. Oh, we have lifted. Um. I'm also really look. I will be watching the game for the two ruckmen. That that'll mm. be. I've wanted it now for about four or five weeks. I've wanted Bryant in the team, and we're getting it this week. And I'm excited. Big Kev makes a return. Is it him? I'm excited. Was that Big Kev? Uh, I'm excited. I'm excited. You know. The other Don't know. <laughs> Help us out in the comments. Um. um. <laughs> Throw back to my childhood then. Um, all right, if there's nothing else on the game, I'm going to go into our fun preview stuff that we've had to introduce because previews oh. are actually quite boring. Can I jump into one other thing then? For sure. Go? Yes. Yep. I also wanted to make mention of the um, AFL, uh, sorry, the VFL, oh, yeah. the VFLW women's team, the Bombers, which joined the AFL. Sorry, the VFL, they joined the AFL next year and at the moment are flying along on top of the ladder, Sammy. Let's talk about the estimate. And football. now what is on it? Top of the ladder. Nine wins, one draw. Nine wins, one draw, percentage of 453. Zero Boom. losses. And how's this? Points against. Let's just quickly look at what, what builds team. What do you say builds a team, Sam? Defence. Defence wins premierships or defence wins. Champions. Attack wins you games, defense wins you titles. That's that, so in the nine games of sorry, the ten games I've played, they've led 165 points through. So an average of 16. Mm. And a half. Jesus. Um, out of interest for for those playing at home, what's the Bulldogs percentage? 12.2. <laughs> when we looked at this last week, they were eight. <laughs> eight was hilarious. Which is just comical. Oh. Single figures percentage. Can you imagine? And then just to bring us back to earth, to also want to mention the VFL. Yeah, uh, the boys aren't doing too well. The VFLM, mm. maybe should we call it. Um, uh, the Bombers are a second last. Second last. <laughs> hey, we're third last in the AFL, so we're actually yeah, not so even the worst. Decimal. On an average, though, we're about eight. You, at present. It's about where we belong, really, if you look at our yeah. last 20 years. We're on the women's team for pumping us up. Yep, that's awesome. Um, I know they beat the Dogs 98-0. Few months ago or a month or so yeah, ago, yeah, that was in like round two, yeah, pretty two impressive. Two or three, and we just played them again. They let them score like ten points this time. Bastards. And we only kicked forty-five or something, wasn't it? Yeah. Anyway, we're waffling. We're just talking about a, a successful Essendon team. It's exciting for us. Desperate, desperate times. <laughs> I'll jump on the AFLW, but I don't care about VFL, so VFLW is a bit hard okay. to jump on as well. Um, <clears throat> so I got a little fun fact, and then yep. we'll go yep. into another. Who am I? Um, my fun fact isn't that fun. I just thought it was, you know, semi-interesting. This is from 1925 onwards. So pre-1925, whatever. Um, we've played seven finals against the Hawthorne. Not grand finals, just finals. Only one of them isn't in the 80s. And that was in Sorry, 2001. Yeah. 2000, so we've only played them once since 1980 in a final. 
once outside the 80s. So from 1925 Ooh. to 1979, oh, wow. zero finals. Really? From 1990 onwards, one final. Yep. And then wow. six in the middle. That's fascinating. Is it? Are you just are you humoring me or are you actually fascinating? No, no. No, it's genuinely fascinating. Okay. So there except for the eighties, we would have if the eighties we never played in the eighties, we would have just played them once in a final. Well, well yeah. But we and did. they've got like twelve flags. Well, they have a lot of flags since the eighties. Yeah, they, they were very successful in the eighties. But got they, four. But they got four since. Yeah. We just have it that's when we have not been successful. We have been tripe, yeah. Yeah. All right, now the the bit that everyone's here for. Oh god, are we? The, the, oh, that's right. It's a bit where we get to watch Nathan be an idiot. Yep, gotcha. Love it. It's my favourite part. It's not the intent. The intent is to <laughs> keep it interesting, have a bit of fun, a bit of interaction with uh, the nine people that are here tonight. A bit low on numbers tonight, but that's all right. Right. Now, for six points, you get one guess every turn, but don't yeah, get it okay. right because it'll it. ruin it for everyone else. For six points, I debuted for Essendon in 1996. Bit more your vintage. You you complained about last week. Ninety six. Ninety six. Um, Blake Carousella. No. For five points, I played one hundred and seventy eight games for Essendon. It's meant to be hard. It's meant to be difficult no, at this point. I know it's meant to be hard. It is it's meant very to hard. Be your sass. 70, I don't if you know. don't know, I'll just keep going because I don't want I don't you know. to keep get it yeah. get it right. To be honest with you, for four points, I played every single game in the two thousand AFL season, which means he's a Premiership player in two thousand. Warcraft, no. Now here's where you might get it. Okay, I played thirty four games for Adelaide before joining Essendon. Oh. Um, oh, um, no, that's not the guy I'm thinking of. Um, oh, somebody's already answered it, haven't they? In the... No, no, Murray's chucked in Willie Dick, which I think is a, is a piss take. Oh. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Uh, no, Bobby Wilson has got it. I'm going to move on. I'm going to move on. There you go. This is a bit of a shit clue. For two points, there are three main ways to spell my first name. <laughs> that should have been six. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Three main ways to spell my name. Like, yeah, it was a shit clue, but I was really struggling. Um, starts with S. I'll include that in the two points. Shane? Don't know. For one point, I am Sean. Oh, God. 2000 Premiership player, Sean. I'm only getting a Sean Burgoyne, and that's not right. Um, Sean. He wore number six. Oh, uh, no, not Moorcroft, no. Um, you said Moorcroft. <laughs> not Moorcroft. Um, Moor, uh, Moor, Monfries? No, no, he was. He went, he uh, Monfries was a bit later than that. <laughs> yeah. Um, Sean? I don't know. Um, if, if, you, if I asked how you are, you might say you're well, man. Oh, uh, well, man. <laughs> Yeah, I forgot about him, to be honest. <laughs> oh, this is why we do Very it. Very successful businessman, I believe, after football. Um, Must had a gr- bit of a theme of my, um, who am I? It seems. Andrew Welsh. Are you to, um, like, um, oh, I'm looking to say, go. Okay, no matter. Um, well done, Bobby. You did get it. Um, for, and he wins the prize. I think three points. No prize, unfortunately, Jesus still. Christ. Can you stop you offering it. You're going to get people excited and then I have to disappoint them and say, uh, no. Um, Prizes will mention your name on the next podcast. Well, we've mentioned it now and that's not much of a prize. There's six people here. Um, I did offer or suggest Nathan have one for me because he commented last week that it's just to make him look stupid, which it isn't, I promise you. But he didn't. He declined. So here we are. I don't want to. That's it. No, I don't want to. I don't like doing this. We should point out, people, that Sam has been a trivia master at what? a work. Have a, yes, you have. You've done it at work. I have done one trivia night at work and we finished last. So No, 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 no. You were a trivia master of one. Oh, I ran the trivia. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That, that's different. I, no, that, I didn't mean me answering the, the bloody Sorry. questions. Yeah, you, trivia master. Isn't trivia master the guy that hosts it? 
Oh, you could be a master of trivia or a trivia master. Well, could go either way. Yeah, we could. We won't go into this conversation, people. We're not going to get into semantics. Anyway, Sam has hosted a trivia night. How about I put it that way? It's much clearer. I'll give you that. Doesn't help me answer. I don't get your point. Anyway, um, right. Give me your tip, please. Uh, Essendon by twenty six. Twenty six. Um, I'm going to see it through and say if Peter Wright kicks ten He's goals, kick 10. we'll lose. But no, <laughs> uh, uh-huh. Don's by fifty eight. Wow, you... we'll get a response. We'll get. Who do we have after? Just out of curiosity, who do we have after Hawthorne? Uh, no, Sydney. Sorry, Sydney. So we got. Mm-hmm. Let me fact check that now. I'm scared. I've got it wrong. Okay, I'm happy to be wrong, but I don't want to be wrong on the internet. That's no, not a good combination. Um, yeah, Hawthorne, Sydney, Richmond, Port Adelaide. Bye. Bye, 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 bye. Mm, okay. So what did you say? Don's by what? 28? 26. 26. And I said Destin by 58. That was silly. Anyway. You said it. I, I did. I know. And it's out there now. So I'm going to stick with it. And Saturday night game. Saturday night, yes. Thank God for that. Be able to do stuff around the yard. I, it's hard for me to go, which is disappointing, but thank God we can talk about teams for a change. Yep. All right, some comments, and then we'll leave you alone to enjoy your Thursday evening. Um, Murray, how many players are playing now that were involved in the drug saga? Two, I believe, Hurley and Heppel. That's it. Well, they'll be on For time. Essendon. Yeah. Collier, um, Malksham, Hibbard. Everything else was drafted afterwards, weren't they? Yeah, but other clubs, though. Collier, oh, Malksham, other Hibbard. Clubs. Um, yeah, Hibbard. Carlisle's delisted. Ryder. Carlisle. Ryder's still playing. Ryder, yeah, yep. Famously left us, saying he wanted to go home to his family and then went to Port Adelaide. And didn't go home, yep. Mm. Uh, there's not What's many. That six, so? That's, yeah. yeah. And, I mean, they've moved on to bigger and better things. Hibbard's a premiership player. Malksham's not. Melksham's at the Premiership Club. Yeah. It's not the same. Got dropped <laughs> this week out of interest. Um, Collier's at a potential Premiership pl- Collier's club. Collier's at a very good club, yeah, and playing. Ryder's well. not going to win a Premiership. Nope. I think that's it. I don't think we've missed anyone. No. Um, Stan's back at the club, technically. He's the VFL uh, coach. Yeah, Stan's, yeah. Going to move on before I say something mean. But then so is um, Fletcher. He's the assistant, I think. But he he retired before Saga. Oh, no, he was involved. He was involved, wasn't he? No, he was there, wasn't he? He was involved, but he didn't get the punishments. Oh, okay. Anyway, um, Hmm. Joe, Joe's back. He says, not Dana Heard, the other one. Um, hopefully <laughs> added height in the forward line will encourage the mids to kick the ball into the forward line rather than retreating or going sideways. Yes, oh. but I don't want to see long bombs either. Pat, uh, Patrick, Jesus, who's that? Peter Wright needs a kick in front of him that he can run onto, not on his head. Um, I'm worried about them mm. rushing the ball out of the back line without any pressure at all. That's Hawthorne. Unless mm. Hind plays as a small forward this week. Not the worst shout. He's named at half back though, but... Well, I that guess it's interesting that that we did we so Stringer and um, uh, Baldwin went out for for Hind, who's a defender, mm. Brian, who's a ruckman, Shield, and then a so midfielder. I guess midfielder. technically with um, Shield. So we've taken out two forwards. They might do, him. but he, he's named on the mm. back line. But we'll, that doesn't mean anything these no, days. That doesn't mean anything. I don't um, mind the idea. I don't mind the idea of Hind being a swing man. I, I don't mind that. I think swing man is reserved for the big guys, but I have no problem with him playing forward at all. But I, I think that it's a game deciding thing. Like if he's got, say, if we've got matchups that you know Redmond can mm. deal with or um, Laverde can deal on. with, whatever, and Hind can do something different on the wing or even half forward or something like that, then give it a Roll the dice at the moment. Like, seriously, roll the dice. Well, there's nothing to lose. That's right. And that's why we would have been so disappointed not to have Brian play. There's no point now. Hmm. Um, Jordan rocked up late and said, did I miss much? Um, No. Don't know. Probably not. Uh, Murray Murray answered the question for us and said, haven't missed anything. They haven't started yet. That was halfway through the pod. Thanks for that, Muzz. 
Um, Joe, again, Marshall does not feel the need and Langford gives us more than whatever pick we get for him. No deal to both. That's perfectly reasonable. I agree reasonable. With the Langford comment. We'd never, we'd never get back what we would nope. sell for him, sell yep. him for. Correct. Um, apparently, Willie Dick played for us in the 90s and is he from did. Goomaling, WA. Goomaling, I probably butchered that. I don't remember but... where he's from, but he, yeah, Willie Dick played for us. So I remember that. Willie can't Dick. forget a name like Willie Dick. Yeah. Like that, no. Um, Bobby, who got Wellman right, has asked if we're drunk awesome. because we tipped Essendon. It's in the contract, unfortunately. Really? We have to. Have you not been to the other board? We, even at our worst, we're still picking us. But I did tip the like... Bulldogs by 133, yeah. which is probably what they should have won by. Yep, I think yeah, uh, I that week I said Essendon by one. You have tipped us, yeah. You haven't tipped Sorry. against us yet. Um, because I, because every week I believe it, like because you're a sucker. Well. it's part of the stupidness of being a, a, an Essendon supporter. Of course, you go in every week thinking you're going to win. Yeah. And then you have weeks like this where you get, oh, we've got a special feeling. I think we're going to really win this special. <laughs> then you realise it's this, you just need to wee. <laughs> is that what that is? Yep. Um, Joe's tipped Hawthorne by 27. Now, I do want to say, Joe, I did see you guess um, Scott Lucas and quickly delete your comment. don't think you got away with that. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Um, he played a lot more than 170 whatever games you said. Yeah, Scotty Lucas is a bit easy, I think. I, I want Sam's favourite player. He was my first love, my first favourite Don's player. So. Apparently a coach once said to him that he plays like Scott I Lucas. I do, yes. My under-12s coach. He's never, ever forgotten it. He's like, oh, under-12s coach <laughs> said that because I got sucked into the footy and like kicking goals, and I still do. And I don't probably play. didn't have <laughs> No, no, I only kicked. Or was it the fact that you could go and win an all Australian centre half back as well as an all Australian centre half? Oh forward? no, I would no, no. It's not a <laughs> defensive bone in my body in any sport I play. That's all right. Um, I can admit that though. All right, that's it for the comments. Uh, we've been going long enough, I think, for a Thursday night. Uh, we'll be here Monday night again to review seven thirty. That's pretty pretty standard now. Seven thirty Monday and Thursday, unless there's accentuating circumstances. We're drunk. Yeah, it might make How it more you interesting. Feel, pod. Sam, if we lose this game, <clears throat> pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. <laughs> wow, good <laughs> on you. Such a positive attitude. I think at this point, we're not making finals, right? There's no point in finishing tenth. No. We no, may as well finish third last or second last. We're not finishing below West Coast. Let's be mm. honest. Yeah, I agree with that. And get. And not tank, not deliberately lose, but just play some kids, which, you know, Brian and all that sort of stuff, and try some shit. If it doesn't work, we lose. So what? I would like to beat Hawthorne because it's Hawthorne, mm-hmm. but I'm not going to be like too I'd like to flat. beat Hawthorne because I think we should be better than them. I, 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 I don't think we're a top eight or top ten side, and I think that we, we sort of said that at the start of the year, but I, I would have thought that we're better than a Hawthorne, and that's why I was probably a bit upset with the... Oh, not upset... I've been frustrated by the Collingwood loss because I actually think we're a better side than Collingwood too. Mm. But all the other teams we played, we're, no, we're nowhere near them. Correct. Um, I was going to say something else then too. I, I also get into a bit of a mode of I just hope it gets worse because then we might yeah. see some things change. So yeah, You do get a bit sick. Yeah. Anyway, we'll see what happens. Um, that's it for the comments. That's it from you. So... Go Dons. Go Bombers. See if we can win a game or two. Go Dons. Just one. Go Bombers.